there are various ways of classifying drugs. For example, we may group them according to its origin, chemical structure, the effects they produce when consumed, legal status, etc. In regards to pharmacological classification, the primary effects of substances on the central nervous system determine to which of the following categories they are part of. Hallucinogens. Generally, minimal doses produce distortions in perception, both sensory and sense of time and space. Hallucinogens may cause sudden changes in mood, and their effects vary according to the setting and context of use. This category has two broad subdivisions, a group that includes LSD and its chemically related compounds, such as psilocybin and mescaline, and dissociative anesthetics such as fencyclidine or PCP, which is known as angel dust, and ketamine. In the long term, users may experience the effects of hallucinogens even after eliminating the substances from the body. Cannabinoids produce euphoria, relaxation, slow reaction time to stimuli, increase heartbeat rate and appetite. Also, they may produce distortions in perception and induce panic attacks. This group includes natural, synthetic, and semi-synthetic compounds derived from the varieties of cannabis plants. Cannabinoids include marijuana, hashish, and synthetic cannabinoids. With the presence, the user the user initially experiences disinhibition, followed by, by a prolonged central nervous system, system depression, poor motor coordination, dysarthria, and disturbance of balance. Examples of this category are alcohol, anesthetics, benzodiazepines, barbiturates, gamma-hydroxybutyric acid, inhalants, and sedatives. Stimulants cause a heightened state of alert and increased energy. People perceive an exacerbated mood, loss of appetite, tiredness, and the need to sleep. Opioids cause analgesia, meiosis, weakening or suppression of cough reflex, constipation, sensation of relaxation without loss of psychomotor coordination, and euphoria. This group includes opium, derivatives, as well as natural synthetic and semi-synthetic compounds with properties similar to morphine, as is the case with heroin. These substances are characterized by their high capacity to induce physical dependence and tolerance of some of their effects. Mixtures are combinations of two or more drugs blended to generate a different experience due to pharmacological synergy. A well-known example is speedball, comprised by cocaine and morphine. Some combinations are unintentionally produced, as when people drink alcohol and also use cocaine. Mixing these two drugs produces cocaethylene, a substance with cardiotoxic effects.